Hi students, it's time for our prepositions, the common words that have prepositions. I'm going to go through this quickly. I know you're working really hard. You've got a couple of big writing assignments this week, and I'm very proud of you. I'm very happy to see all of my students going on Canvas every day and working hard. It really makes me happy. Let's take a look here at our prepositions. Number one, log into. I log into Canvas every morning. Number two, log on to. I log on to Canvas every evening too. Number three, I go on Canvas. I go on Canvas Sunday. Oh, I go on Canvas Sunday to Thursday to do my work. I go on Canvas Sunday to Thursday to do my work. Okay, so we have so many in English. I log into Canvas, I log on to Canvas, I go on the internet. Number four, list of. The teacher gives us a list of tasks to do every week. List of. I have a list of food I need to buy. Number five, search for. We search for information on the internet. You already know, look for. Good job. Look for, search for. Number six, look up. Look up has two meanings. Please look up. Okay, I look up. And then also, I look up words in my dictionary. I look up information in my book. Number eight, version of. Version means kind, a kind of, a version of. Uh, Moodle is a version of Canvas. Linux is Windows and Linux. Uh, I better not do that. My husband's here. He doesn't want me to say Linux is a version of Windows because it's not. So I won't say that. Let's just stick with the sentence I have. Number eight, you can find an online version of many textbooks. So we have a paper version of the book and an online version of the book. Number nine, Known as. Known as means famous for. Seattle is known as a good place to live. Known as. Elizabeth is known as a nice ESL teacher, I hope. Number 10, help with. Do you need help with writing a summary? If you do, let's make an appointment on the calendar. I want to make sure you can write a summary. Number 11, rely on. You can rely on me for help. Now, how many do we have? Oh, we got 20. Okay, number 12, decide on. Have you decided on which university to attend? Number 13, find out. Find out means discover. I found out that I can live, I can go live on Internet Island. I got the phone call. Bling, bling. What? I can? Really? So I found out that I can go live on Internet Island. I would love it. Fantastic. Number 14, agree on. My son and I agreed on the restaurant. My husband and I agreed on driving taking the train to Seattle instead of driving. So we agree on something, agree on the restaurant, agree on driving, but we agree with a person, okay? I agree with my son all of the time. Not really. I don't agree with my son all of the time. No, that's a bad idea, Chris. Don't do it. I agree with my son sometimes. Number 16. In everyday life. In everyday life means usual life, right? In everyday life, I'm not stressed out. I'm only stressed out when I have to make videos. But in everyday life, I'm not stressed out. In everyday life, I don't wear such a bright color. In everyday life, I don't wear bright colors. Number 17 share something with. I like to share food with my friends. I like to share information with you. 
I like to share candy with my dog. No, I don't. I like to share my sandwich with my dog. Here you go. Remember, you will maybe you've met my dog already. I'm going to introduce him to you on Monday. I'm so excited. Number 18, get an idea from someone. I got a, a lot or something. I got a lot of good ideas from our readings. Yes, I do. I learn a lot of good ideas and information from my ESL textbook. Even I learn information like Internet Island and Genghis Khan. I learned the information from our book. It's in a book, a lot of information. Number 19, on the internet. Most people, most everyone goes on the internet every day. And if I look at this word everyone, someone, everybody, somebody, I always put an S on the verb. So most everyone goes on the internet every day and on an island. I don't really want to live on an island. Hawaii is a small island or several small islands. I don't want to live on an island because it's too small. I'd like to live on the mainland island. The United States is the mainland. Hawaii is an island. I don't want to work, live on an island. Thank you for going through these words with me. See you later. Bye.